And also here at noon, we're remembering a rock superstar and icon, Meatloaf. The singer best known for his name and Bad Out of Hell album passed away yesterday. Local 10's Andrea Martinez is in the newsroom with a look back at his life and career. That's right. His career actually spanned six decades. Christy Janice, like you just mentioned, Bad Out of Hell being one of the best selling albums actually of all time. He passed away last night with his wife by his side. Oh, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. Meatloaf performed sweet suburban melodies with a dramatic flair. I go out on a stage as if it's the last thing I'll ever do. I, I will, and that's what I've always said. If I'm going, if I'm going out, I'm going out on a stage. Well, Meatloaf. Where did that name come from? The real story is that there is no story. The real story is that kids. Uh, I was about eight years old. I've been called Meatloaf since I was about eight. Meatloaf, or Meat for short, was born Marvin Lee a day in Dallas, Texas. But even Texas was not big enough to corral his talents. Meatloaf would go on to sell more than 80 million records worldwide, one of the top selling musicians ever. His first album selling 43 million copies. I batted hell one I was not ready for. I, I, I had a nervous breakdown. I went to, uh, uh, psychologists and psychiatrists for two years uh, and, and I went with him to deal with the word star. Meat got a hold of his demons and went on to star on stage and screen known for the Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> Off the screen, he married twice and became a father to two daughters. He also entered reality TV, Donald Trump's Celebrity Apprentice. You look in my eyes, I am the last person in the world you ever want to with. That yelling, a stark contrast to what launched Meatloaf to international adoration. That operatic voice. Oh, I would do There's no word just yet on how he died. He was 74 years old. In the newsroom, Andrea Martinez, Local 10 News.